What's going on guys? We're on track three, Genesis Abacab. This is me and Sarah Jane originated from takes that the group had recorded from as early as the second day of recording. Okay, was there more information about uh, me and Sarah Jane? I thought that there was. Oh, this is one of the songs. Okay, so this one was written. That's what it was. This one was written by Tony Banks. Gotcha, that's what it was. Okay, well, let's just get to it. Me and Sarah Jane, bam. Drum machine, yep. With other drums.
lot. It's a lot. Drum machine still happening. Yeah, that that this is kind of it's kind of a lot on this. All right, there we go. Kind of a lot going on. I mean, I should expect that it's Genesis, right? But I I didn't I I wouldn't have just guessed that just because it's Genesis because it's eighties Genesis, you know. And I know that there's some kind of you know, I don't know. I don't know. And so also, I don't know, I don't know the difference between like Genesis songs and tracks and like Phil Collins solo stuff. Cause I'm like, if I hear Phil Collins, I'm going to be like, that's Phil Collins, right? I'm just going to know, recognize it as Phil Collins as opposed to being able to specify, oh, that's Genesis or that's Phil Collins. <laughs> I might be like, is that Phil Collins or is it Genesis? Because I don't know. I'm not sure. I don't really remember because I never dug into them, you know, in any of those kind of ways. I've only heard Phil Collins' voice everywhere because he was super popular back then. And like, and later. <laughs> like, super popular. Super popular. Just everywhere. Yeah. Just all those hits. All kinds of singles. All kinds of singles. Tons of them. I thought this was cool. There was a, there was a, again, lots of in interesting parts. Lots of different sections, lots of different things being thrown at you, different kinds of uh, sections and moods. The keyboards are really driving everything. Feels like keyboards really driving everything. Lots of different harmony. A lot to catch on one listen. Just a lot. Just a lot. All three of the tracks so far. That's how I feel. I'm like, this is a lot. This is a lot on one on first listen. For me, I just regurgitate, you know, there's, there's not, uh, these are not straight up pop songs. This is definitely uh, progressive or whatever. What are they, what do they call it? Let's just, just out of curiosity. Art rock. Oh yes, of course. Uh, prog rock, pop rock. I'm not getting prog rock yet. Just not getting that. Paper Light was more pop rock. Um, and apparently that came out of these sessions and uh, new wave. Okay. Yeah, art rock and prog rock. I'm getting all of that, and that is a is a that requires a dedicated listener, <laughs> dedicated numerous listens. That's what I'm getting. But it's cool. It sounds cool. I guess I was wondering if it would be more poppy. That's what I would have guessed. That it would have been, especially considering that Paper Lake came out of this session, and having heard that one. Uh, I would have thought that this would have been way more poppy than it is. Like, way, 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 way more. Oh, I just realized that, um, uh, just seeing this again about, uh, no reply at all. Collins had the idea of writing a song that the Jackson 5 would have wanted to record. I, I, I guess I wouldn't have thought that Jackson 5 would have wanted to record no reply at all. That's kind of interesting. Yeah, so far, it's, it, it there's just a lot to it a lot 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 to this whole to all the tracks like a lot even even no reply at all which was more kind of shorter compact i mean we got two six plus minute tracks out of the three so far but even again no reply at all which was shorter more of a pop kind of length what was it? it was still like four four minutes right four and a half minutes still a fair length still a lot going on a lot going on but it's cool yeah, their use of uh, drum machines, uh, loops, you know, and um, keyboards, huge keyboards. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, Keep It Dark is up next. I'll catch you then later.